While the city of Bemidji is seeing hardship this week, a member of their community died unexpectedly after collapsing in an ice house while fishing with his son and friend on Mantrap Lake near Nevis, Minnesota. Friends describe him as a great father, husband, coach, and role model. Valley News Team's Alex Larson spoke with friends honoring his memory. Always bringing, bringing light to, to what he does. 46-year-old Jim McKeon left an undeniable impact on Bemidji and beyond. Jim's longtime friend, Brian Stoffel, got to see this impact firsthand over the past two decades. It's a big, lovable teddy bear and uh, a guy that really enjoyed getting to know others. And um, he was somebody that, he was a social butterfly in that effect, always willing to, to help and, and uh, care for kids. Those at Bemidji High School say they saw his positive influence resonate even beyond the football field. A lot of our students don't have that male role model or uh, sometimes a father figure. Coaches become a pseudo parent, whether it's a male or female coach. Um, they influence a lot of what we do and a lot of what we become as adults. He, his presence will be missed. Jim was on the field sidelines for the ups and the downs. I do remember when he came back because his daughter uh, fought cancer, and so he wasn't with us. Jim's daughter, Gianna, passed away in January of 2022 from a rare form of bone cancer. His family says he died of a broken heart. Jim leaves behind his wife and two kids. The family is, has been hit hard the last couple of years um, with the death of Gianna and now Jim. I know our, our community is going to support them and uh, do everything we can to help them out. There's been a huge outpouring of support from the community telling how Jim impacted them. That's just a testament to the person Jim was. Um, I think people reached out because Jim reached out to them when um, he was around and uh, made them feel special. And you don't get the outpouring of support uh, that Jim is getting without living a quality life and doing things the right so, way. And, what he gave to the community, hopefully it's it's a small percentage of us giving back to him. Um, and I know that can't bring him back, uh, but it, it does signify that while he, while he was with us, he had a significant impact on all of us. Alex Larson, Valley News Live. He sounds like such a great man that will be missed by so many. The family said their goodbyes today to Jim. No public announcement has been made on when his funeral will be.